hello guys welcome back to another android app development tutorial in the last video we have learned how to add button widgets and also learned two different ways to implement click events so if you don't know how to add on click attribute for click events then you must watch that video link will be in this video description or at the right top corner of this video anyway now in this video we are going to see another two different ways to implement click events using on click listener interface okay so let's get started all right as you can see we have already added two buttons one called next and the other one called previous and this is an existing project which i have taken from our last video now inside our main activity.java class we will first create two button variables so private button button next comma button previous and semicolon now let's initialize these buttons inside the on create method button next equal to find view id r dot id dot button next then we also have to initialize our second button button previous equal to find view by id r dot id dot button previous and that's how we initialize buttons now we will set the click listener so button next dot set on click listener and here we have to pass a new on click listener so new then type on click listener hit the tab so android studio will generate all the required codes for us now let's take a cl closer look on this particular code so to enable click events we have called set on click listener then inside the parameters we have passed a new on click listener as an argument and in this anonymous class we have an empty on click method inside which we have to write our code for execute some functions but for testing purpose we will display a toast message so toast then set a message called next button clicked now let's set another on click listener for our previous button so button previous dot set on click listener then new on click listener and for testing purpose again we will display a toast message let's say previous button clicked and that's it now let's test our application now click on the button next see next button clicked and for button previous see previous button click and toast is actually displaying the message now let's talk about our final way to enable the click events so let's just remove these on click listeners from here and add the interface on click listener so implements view dot on click listener then alt enter implement methods and select this on click method then ok and in this on click method parameter we have a view variable called v let's make it view and this view variable can be used to identify which button has been pressed so int id equal to view dot get id now you can use switch case or if else statement like in our last video i have shown you switch case statements to find out the clicked buttons by their id so if id equal to r dot id button next then we can uh, run any kind of next function but for testing purpose we will display toast message so toast and the message is next button now we will use else if to find our button previous so if the id equal to r dot id dot button previous then we will display another toast for it so i'm going to copy this line 
and paste it in here and change the message to previous button. And that's it. Now let's try to test our application. As you can see guys, app is running and let's press the next button. It's not working, right? Let's test the previous button. Uh, so both of these buttons are not working because I forgot to call set on click listener for both of the buttons. Let's fix it quickly. So button next dot set on click listener and pass this let's do the same thing for our second button button previous dot set on click listener and pass this let's test it again now press the next button see the toast message for next button and for previous button it's also working fine now so guys I hope at this point you know how to add button widget and how to implement the click events for 4 different ways. In the next video I'll show you some of the cool customization stuff for the button widget. And if you still have any questions or suggestions please let me know in the comment box. And if you think this video helped you a little bit in your android app development journey then hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe for more contents. That's all for now guys. See you soon in my next upcoming video. Thanks for listening.